When we think of the astronaut families going to see the launch of their brave loved ones, you might think that every single family member made it out to Cape Canaveral to see them launch. Well, you would be wrong. Find out why on the next Vintage Space. Hello, this is Chad, your host for today's episode of Vintage Space, where we talk about the nostalgic things surrounding the Mercury, Gemini, Apollo era of spaceflight. What was it like to grow up in an astronaut's family? Gail Anders, a second grader and daughter of William Anders, remembers that time he didn't get to go to Florida for the launch of Apollo 8, the historic mission that involved the first moon encounter by human spaceflight. There was a few reasons for this. For one, it was too expensive to take the trip out there, and two, William Anders did not want the family in the grandstands just in case the rocket exploded after liftoff. Of course, the irony was that they had just re recently purchased a color television just before the launch. And you can bet they all gathered around the living room floor to watch Apollo 8 and its glory on that new color TV. So, how did the children of Apollo 8 crew keep in touch with them? A small device called a squawk box this ahead of its time radio lets the family of the crew listen in on the, all of the mission control communications to the Apollo 8 crew. Jay Lovell, Jim Lovell's 12-year-old son, described the experience like it was listening to a radio show, a drama, or a mystery show. They could sit for hours and be entertained, keeping anxiety at bay considering the risky nature of the mission. You would be amazed at the life untold by the children of Apollo 8. Jay Lovell once got into a fight in front of the yard with some other kid. The Houston Chronicle calls it, Son protects home while dad is in space. Gail Anders remembers eating all of the ice cream around the table while the reporters sat outside, like water pressure trying to burst a pipe open. If you guys would like to learn more about astronauts, families, and the life surrounding historic space flight, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys can get the notifications of upcoming episodes. I am your host, Chad, and I will see you guys out on the launch pad.